After starting off 1-2 and two versus games against Alabama, Ohio State, losing to them, and then beating Arizona State in Tempe, Arizona, bro, James Madison had to play in the Sun Belt for the first time. This was our first game against Troy, and unexpectedly, we blew this team out with ease, man. And in due help, it was because of Revenel and Meredith on the uh, special teams positions. As you can see right there, a kickoff return right after Troy scored a touchdown. And then Meredith off a punt return. It was 31-7. Bro, put the work on these boys, man. Got them up out of there easily. But the fact of the matter is, man, it was all about getting to a better position. This was our first season, remember? Boom, Cormick, give me that's mine. That's a user pick. Like I said, it was all about getting better from the start. We threw ourselves to the Wolves, came off with one win. Then to start the, uh, the Sun Belt Conference play, yo, we bodied them, man. Shout out to AJ Davis. This game against Notre Dame, our last non-conference game, bro, a pick right there. We were up 14 to 10. You know, Santino, mm, let me throw it right down there to Thornton, down the field, give me that first down, and then let's finish it off. Easy play to Painter, touchdown. We were up as much as 28 to 10 because right here, right after we got out of halftime, boom. All right, let me look out. Got him wide open. Who was that? Green Jr. Give me the touchdown, ladies and gentlemen. This was our biggest lead. Uh, Notre Dame did try to come back into this game. They would try an onside kick. Thornton recovers it and did the seal the deal. Santino, touchdown. Santino Ayo whatever his name is. I, I can never pronounce his name, <laughs> but you get the idea, man. We came away with our best win in Harrisonburg uh, as an FBS team. And yo, we came out of here with the W. At the end of the day, we're officially three and two. It's all about growth. So now we get in the conference play again, man. We go against um, UL Monroe and A. As you can see, special teams has always been a go-to. Everybody can make the case that special teams in NCAA 14 is OP, and honestly, I agree with that. But one thing that isn't OP and it's the hardest to play is defense. Bro, when I tell you Rodriguez on Moreau was dotting us up, I was, I was shocked because he kept finding ways to just find people open, and I had to keep on scoring. Like, watch this play right here. Boom. I thought I had him. And he's leading them so good that I can't even cover it. But, yo, you got to fight fire with fire. Y'all already know me. If you got offense and you're scoring, more times than not, I got offense and I'm scoring too. Bro, we're up 31 to 21. Yo, the, the triple option always key in this game, man. And you already know I got to use it to my advantage. It's 45-34, throwing it down the field. Put the dagger in their hearts, man. And, of course, they would try to come back a little bit. But, yo. Santino, you already know what he's going to do. Give me that touchdown, ladies and gentlemen. We come away with the win, man. Hard fought win, too. I will say that. That was like the first like legit test I had in the conference. But, hey, we had more to go. And it wasn't going to get any easier. But our offense was going to get better. Coastal Carolina game, you already know we had to do something. They actually came into this 1-4. I was shocked. Wide open Thornton. Let me cut it. You already know what I do. That's touchdown. We're up 21-14. Next time, we end up having to go on a screen, 21-17. Boom. Let me get the cut. AJ Davis, ladies and gentlemen, runs in on. Oh, my goodness, man. What can I say about AJ Davis? He is literally the perfect running back for this team. Like, I don't know where we would be without him. And then I don't even know how I got out of this. Boom. Look, oh, my goodness, man. I have no idea how I came out of that and then gave it to Kobe White, the, the Boston College transfer. Boom. Let me get the triple option. You already know A.J. Davis going to get that touchdown. We got 35 in the second quarter in the first half. And at the end of the day, it's all about just figuring out what we can do, man. And I will say one thing. Coastal Carolina, Grayson McCall, always going to try to figure out how to just bounce back, man. And I gave it to him. It was what it was. But you weren't going to stop this offense. That was the fact. 35-24, let me look. Let me look. I got space. All right, get away from him. Let me stop. Pop. Give me that. Let's go, man. To Brown. Reggie Brown being a good wide receiver. There's so many good wide receivers in this offense. I really can't complain. Um, right there, A.J. Davis. And shout out to the blocking, too. 41 uh 31 
Easy pass, easy touchdown, man. You already know what we had to do in this game, man. Uh, four and two on the season. Still undefeated in conference play. A new school record for passing TDs. And then to put the dagger in their hearts, A.J. Davis, give me that touchdown, man. We go ahead and we beat Coastal Carolina. We beat ULM Monroe. Um, and we beat Troy. So now we got Georgia State. Georgia State scored the first touchdown because the running back was going crazy. But then we started just using special teams to our advantage. As you can see, special teams was putting us in position, man, and getting us easy touchdowns using A.J. Davis to run over that defense. And, hey, Georgia State, they did not score for the rest of the game. Defense was on point from this point forward. As you can see right here, that running back thought he was on something. Nah, we're going to shut you down. You got that one rushing touchdown, boom, you're not doing anything. And we got the pick. Yo, let's get us in a good position, man. See what we can do. And then triple option, A.J. Davis, touchdown. You already know how this goes, man. Yo, one thing I love about myself is the fact that I mastered being an offensive player so much. And they tried to throw it on fourth down. And I don't know what they were thinking throwing it there when they had somebody wide open. And A.J. Davis, ladies and gentlemen, the dagger. Boom. The cut makes a miss. That was a 95-yard touchdown to put the game away. And one thing I will say, man, I thought A.J. Davis had, you know, and sorry, I said 91-yard uh, touchdown. Sorry. But one thing about it is A.J. Davis is just such a menace. And I always felt like he had Heisman, you know, potential. He didn't get nominated for a Heisman. Uh, probably Satino, if I if I got to remember the season. It's been a while. But, yo, all I know is, man, offense was on a roll. We had the App State game. They were up 10-6. Went ahead, got that touchdown to put us up, man. And then, yo, one thing I will say, Kobe White went off this game. I don't know what it was. But, yo, he, he just kept getting open. We kept using play calls that got us open, too. And at the end of the day, man, App State was no match for us, bro. As you can see, I'm like, all right, got to find somebody. Oh, the user, AJ Davis, bro. Oh, my goodness, man. That's what I keep on saying. He There's no way he wasn't Heisman hopeful, man. I, and I stand by that. He, he just so OP. He's so, he's so clutch, man. I got to give it to him, man. And defense... Defense, though, was on point these last two games. I will say that. I got punched right there, but, yo, you already know we're hitting harder. Bro, fourth and nine, this is when you know I'm in my zone. When I go for it on fourth and nine and I'm confident that I'm converting, bro, ain't no stopping me. You already know how this goes. And at the end of the day, defense was the main thing about this game. They did everything they had to do, holding App State as much as they possibly could. The dagger and do what he got to do, bro. One thing I will say, at some point, I thought to myself, yo, like, we could possibly have a chance at a New Year's Six Bowl game in our first season. It was definitely possible. We had to face Western Kentucky, though. And one thing I did mess up on is I accidentally put Western Kentucky in the Sun Belt trying to put so many teams in. I don't know, trying to make it a challenge. But basically, this was one of our biggest tests of the uh, video, man. And then Brown, the dot, the dot by Todd, man. Just to put it right there, it was such a clutch play. And then, boom, we had to make sure we did what we had to do. I will say one thing. Western Kentucky and EA was on their BS this game. I will not lie. Todd, again, with his legs, the cut, getting, oh, my goodness, man. Todd's just a beast, man. What can I say? The team has athletes. Painter gets the touchdown. We thought this game was fully over. And like I said, EA was on their BS. Look at this. This is a pick. How does he catch that? And I'm just like, bro, come on, man. Y'all are on BS. And then right here, I think I got him for the tackle. And they give me no animation whatsoever. Boom, they make it 34-31. We do recover the onside kick. And at the end of the day, we put this game away with another touchdown. I was not going to let it. First of all, Kobe White with that. <laughs> and we were going to put it away, man. White puts it away with a touchdown, man. Put this game away. We are now 8-2 and two on the season, man. I, I I didn't expect it to go like this. It's like you could put me in some type of like, you know, certain setting. And at the end of the day, we're just doing what we got to do. We basically clinch 
the the Sun Belt Division B in our first season. And then on that other side, they got to figure out who they're playing. Georgia Southern game was nothing, man. Kobe White gets the touchdown. This is this is just murder. I'll say it like this. Kobe White was going off on this game too, man. I don't know what it was. He just kept getting open. Boom. He's open right there again. In the first half, he had three touchdowns. And I'm just like, hey, what can you say, man? This team has athletes. I've been telling y'all this. Boom, it's first and goal. I'm like, all right, come get the work. Yo, Make having to hit a flip just to get that is crazy. Second and goal. They messed that up, man. They only get six out of that. That's a clutch play by defense. AJ Davis, you already know how this goes, ladies and gentlemen. Um, one thing about this game I will say is that I, I started realizing at this point defense was, like, legit. But then, as you can see, EA was on BS, and I simmed it, and they made they got them so close for no apparent reason. And, like, I'm like, come on, man. At the end of the day, y'all on BS, bro. As you can see, we did get some commits, man. I was committing like crazy. Don't what I had to do. We already clinched the Sun Belt division. So at the end of the day, I wasn't taking this game serious. I was watching some cartoons. I was chilling, minding my business. And it didn't hit me like, oh, snap. This Marshall running back is on our head right now. <laughs> Yo, we're 9-2. I'm not worried about anything. I'm minding my business, bro. As you can see, the kickoff return, doing what I had to do. Give me that touchdown. And I'm just chilling. I just, I wasn't taking this game too serious because I already did what I had to do. But, yo, I don't know what it was, man. I thought I thought I could put this game away right there. I missed the how Mary, and I'm like, oh, for real? Y'all going to sell me? And then they throw a how Mary right back, and I said, oh, yeah. I see how this game is trying to go. You ever just see EA Sports do some BS and you're like, oh, so this is how it's going to happen. Okay, fair enough. Hey, hey, EA Sports, love you, but do your worst. And at the end of the day, I was just minding my business. I wasn't worried about anything. Rasheen Ali was just going crazy, man. And Ravenel drops that. I thought I could get closer. I'm just like, okay, whatever. And everything, nothing was going my way. And like I said, I was just going about this game very nonchalantly. I was just letting anything happen. And, yo, Marshall ends up coming away with this W. They body us. And I was just like, eh, it is what it is. The the AP poll, the college football playoff rankings didn't have us ranked because they wasn't even watching our games. And at the end of the day, it just was what it was, man. Last chance for us, I tried to throw it as a pick. Eh, it's like that. Honestly, no criticisms about this game. I didn't take this game serious. I was just like, all right, y'all do what y'all got to do. I let Marshall get this game. But the next game is the conference championship. And we got to do what we got to do. 